In this video, we're going to have a look at Microsoft's DP900 exam. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of IDoData.com. So Microsoft's DP900 exam is for Microsoft Azure Data. So it looks at Microsoft Azure, which is on the cloud, but focuses on the data aspects. So specifically the databases and storage. The 900 number indicates that it is a fundamentals. It is the first step for your Microsoft journey. It is an entry level exam that's designed to test your knowledge of basic concepts of data storage, management, and processing in the cloud. So having such a certification in your CV or resume could be good, especially if you are in a crowded job market and want to demonstrate further your expertise in the field of data and analytics. So in general, it relates to the concepts of relational and non-relational data and databases and different types of workloads. Now, if I scroll down, you can see that the skills which are measured are in four categories. Describe core data concepts. So we're looking at describing ways to represent data, identifying options for data storage, describing common data workloads, transactional and analytical, and identify roles and responsibility for data workloads. So we're talking what are the responsibilities for DBAs or database administrators, data engineers, and data analysts. We've also got identify considerations for relational data on Azure. So we're talking about the relational concepts themselves like normalization and SQL language, and also the Azure data services themselves, including Azure SQL database, Azure SQL managed instance, SQL Server and Azure Virtual Machines, and open source database systems such as PostgreSQL. Next, we've got describe considerations for working on non-relational data on Azure. So we're talking about storage, blob, file, and table storage, and Azure Cosmos DB. And finally, we've got describe an analytics workload on Azure. So we're looking at describing common elements of large-scale analytics, such as Azure Synapse Analytics, Databricks, HD Insight, and Data Factory. Describe considerations for real-time data analytics and describe data visualization in Microsoft Power BI. Now, this might look like a lot of different services, but don't forget this is a fundamentals exam. So all you'll be required to know is the concepts behind various things. You won't be required to actually do any of these. It's know what you can do. So what in more detail do you need? Well, you can click on the DP900 study guide, and this will get you to a webpage which shows some bullet points of specific things that you need to know about. Again, most of this is at a fairly high level. So how can you learn this? Well, one way is by using the Microsoft Learning Path. So you can see here we've got four different modules each one of them relating to a different skill measured. And within that, we've got modules. And within that, we have got the various elements. Now, if you prefer your learning to be in book form, then there is an official Microsoft book, DP900 Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals. However, there is a bit of a warning. The date here is the 23rd of April, 2021. Now, Microsoft reviews the exams on a regular, around a two month basis, and they made some major changes. In April 2022, a lot of topics were removed from the exam, such as identifying basic management tasks for relational and non-relational data. So if you get the 2021 version of this book, you may find that it's covering additional stuff that you don't need. So I would just be very careful with the book. However, it is a good basis to start with if you want to go down that path. Now, if you prefer your learning in video form, then please have a look at our video course that you can see on idodata.com. So in less than a day, we'll have a look at all of the requirements for the DP900 exam. There are also quizzes all the way through the course, so you can be sure that you are learning. Once you've completed your learning, then I would suggest going to something like measureup.com where you can get the official practice test for the DP900 exam. So the great thing about this 
is that it not only gives you questions and then gives you the answers, it explains the answers as well, as well as explaining why the three incorrect answers on a multiple choice question are incorrect. So it adds to your learning. And that way, when you wish to schedule the exam, which can be scheduled at home if you've got a webcam and a suitable place to take the exam, you can be sure that you are at the right level. Additionally, you should also go to azure.com where you can sign up for a free trial of Microsoft Azure and then, for instance, create your own SQL databases if you want some hands-on experience. However, this is not actually required for the DP900 exam, but it will give you a better understanding of how various products work. So this is the DP900 exam. It's a great starting point for anyone interested in data and analytics on Microsoft Azure. Now, if you are interested more about Microsoft Azure generally, then you should have a look at the AZ900 exam. And there will be a video on the end screen, which you can click on, where you can find more information about that exam. And please go to our website for more information about our DP900 course. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not like and subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Are you interested in doing the DP900 exam? Or are there other exams you'd like me to cover? Please add a comment to this YouTube video. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks very much for watching and keep learning.